Hey everyone, Donnie with Anderson Ford Motorsport here, and today we're going to be talking about Cook's headers and Cook's exhaust. We've been partnered with Cook's for quite a while, and we've installed several of their exhaust systems onto pretty much any myriad of different Mustangs out there. They make wonderful products, really high quality stuff, really great materials. The fit and finish is excellent. So we're going to be actually installing a set of full length headers and a matching catted mid pipe on my 2013 Mustang GT. So let's go ahead and take everything out of the box here and show you what we're going to be doing. Okay, so what we're looking at here is a set of inch and three quarters inch primary headers. The reason I decided to go with these over the inch and seven eighths option is because I wanted to keep my car more of a street car, keep some of that feeling of the low end torque that some of these cars kind of lack. And also, I knew that these are gonna provide much more flow, more horsepower, better than what the factory manifolds could ever provide. Give myself a little bit more room to grow, of course. Having any kind of header is actually going to be better down the road, especially if you go to add more power down the road. So a set of inch and three quarters will also be a little bit simpler to install because the primaries aren't as big. Getting your fingers around to get to these flanges to install the hardware won't be as much of a task as it would be with the bigger primary on the header. So these headers, guys, they look awesome. The fit, the uh, quality, the finish, the fitment around all the primaries and the flanges look excellent. Nothing less than I would expect from Cooks, because Cooks makes some excellent stuff. Now, in regards to installation, this isn't going to be a full step-by-step, -step, but we'll be sure to show you all the major components that would be involved in regards to installing a set of these headers onto your car. And also, we're also going to dyno the car once it's done, so we can see what kind of gains you can expect from a set of headers like this. You guys have already seen what kind of horsepower my car makes now, which is the Stage 1 Anderson Power Package. So why not take it to the next level, install a set of these beautiful Cooks uh, full-length headers and matching mid-pipe, and see what kind of power it makes. So again, we have plenty of work on our hands ahead of us. You can be done on your own in the garage, but if it's not something you want to take on, or if it's something that's a little intimidating to you, give Anderson Ford a call, talk to the service department, and they'll be happy to set you up with a set of Cook's headers. In regards to the mid pipe, I decided to go with a, uh, their green catted H pipe. Now the reason I decided to go that route is because I like the throatier rumbling sound of an H pipe versus the raspy sound of an X pipe. Also I wanted to keep the catalytic converters on it because I already have a loud muffler set in the car. I'm not trying to like kill everyone's ears when I go driving in this thing. Now of course I can always switch the mufflers out later if it's still a little too loud for my taste. But also just keeping some of the interior resonance noise down, having the catalytic converters there. And Cook's recommended to go with the Green Cats for, I was just say, future power down the road that I have. They recommended that, so I'm going to follow the recommendation, and I picked up their Cat and H pipe. So we have a lot of work ahead of us. It's not going to be a step-by-step -step video, guys. There's a lot of other videos out there that do it way better than I ever could. So essentially, we're going to cover the main points and some pretty much some key factors that you have to look out for once you're installing these particular headers, the inch and three quarter cooks onto your 11 to 14 Mustang. Any major stuff that comes up or stuff that's uh, more notable to bring up, I'll be sure to film that and show it to you guys. So a lot of work on our hands. Let's get the car up on a lift and let's get to work.
Okay, now that we've got the headers and mid-pipe installed, we've got the new tune loaded, it is a good idea to go ahead and get a new tune and a new calibration for your vehicle when you do long tube headers. And so we've got that all loaded up, now it's time to strap it on the dyno, see what kind of power she makes. Okay, and the results are 390 rear wheel horsepower and 372 foot-pounds of torque, which is a nice gain of 10 horsepower and 10 foot-pounds of torque over the last dyno pull we did before the header installation. Now, that doesn't actually tell the whole story. If you actually look at the dyno graph, you'll see that we gained a little bit more low-end torque and it also gained a little bit more of the high-end horsepower. Gained up to about 20 foot-pounds of torque at the bottom end and gained about 15 rear wheel horsepower at the top end. So pretty solid gains in the curve overall. So I'm super happy with that. It's about what I expected in regards to getting horsepower and torque out of a set of smaller primary but full-length headers in regards to my car. That's going to be a wrap for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you definitely want a set of Cook's headers for your ride, give us a call at Anderson Ford. We'll be happy to install a set of headers for you. So that's pretty much going to do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.